people who unfortunately couldn't make it on a vegan, 100% vegan diet. And that's perfectly okay from my perspective. But there are some stories that I find disturbing. I mean, yes, digestive issues. Okay, do what you can, do the best that you can uh, to thrive on whatever diet you choose to thrive on. Vegan diet doesn't automatically mean healthy, and I cannot stress that enough. Vegan diet doesn't mean that it will work for you in all the circumstances, in all the, for your whole life, it will not solve all of your issues, and it will, it might not enable you to perform to the best of your abilities. And part of that is because there is a lot of misinformation in the vegan world. But there are people who are also saying that besides the digestive issues that they might have experienced, there are people who say that, for example, for them, their performance went down. And for me, it did as well. But I troubleshooted it, I increased my calories, and I mean, it's working for me right now. As you can see, I'm energized. I just did my heat workout with weighted backpack and I have a lot of room of improvement and don't tell me that it is because of the one egg grass-fed from our own grown chickens that I ate last week that this is why or that is why I have all the energy today. I mean, look, my training schedule enabled me last week to rest, now I feel super energetic. Maybe you hear background music that I mean that ramps me up. I improved some my eating habits and really I feel like I'm thriving. I don't have like brain fog, I don't have bad digestion. Also I have experienced on my vegan journey. Let's call it vegan. I don't want to label those on myself because sometimes I eat like aforementioned egg. One egg in a the <laughs> past one year so come on don't I acknowledge it but I don't say that yeah I have energy because of that one egg right guys there are people who for some reason want you would make you believe that yeah I ate that one egg I ate that one fish or whatever and because of that I feel much better maybe this is the case but I mean from the long-term perspective, one egg doesn't improve your health, nor will it deteriorate your health. So this also applies to vegans. If you eat some animal produce like fish once in a year, I mean, it will not make you sick if the fish is not spoiled. Rotten, right? <laughs> so this is my message from me to all the people who are ex-vegans. Make dietary choices that are best for you that will enable you to thrive and everybody it is carnivore phase I cannot stand it but everybody is saying that you know it heals them in some way but guys look long term what everybody will actually um, acknowledge everybody will agree on is that we want to have a lot of plants in our uh, on our plate we want to uh, we want to have a lot of, of plants general in our consumption right and do seasonal local even vegans with your lots of fruits in winter if it is not for example now I'm in Europe in winter I was not buying bananas for example I had some frozen berries but I'm not big on fruits during winter I was eating more like root vegetables cabbage and so on but this is a topic for a completely different from a completely different uh, completely different topic so if you want to thrive on me today, if you want some help, troubleshoot, improve your performance, contact me and this is from me for today.